Okay, let's talk a little bit about chromatic aberration and electromagnetic retardation and uh, in reference uh, to diffraction and uh, why lenses have chromatic aberration in, refer in reference to blue and purple fringing and also something you'll not hear anywhere else as to why heavy element zoom lenses uh, have uh, really muddy purples and blues. We know that uh, chromatic aberration and uh, light dispersion and diffraction causes uh, blue and purples uh, to be retarded and diffracted more, but it's actually uh, the transmission material, the, the dielectric capacitance or the electrostatic capacitance of the glass. It doesn't matter how perfect the glass is or how great the coating is, there's electromagnetic retardation. So not only is there diffraction going on, but there is also absorptive uh, properties of each glass element. That is why many element zoom lenses, uh, such as 23 element uh, 70 to 200 zoom lenses or other zoom lenses that have a lot of elements, not only have to have achromatic elements for uh, correcting for uh, the diffraction uh, index of blues and purples, but what is also occurring is why these zoom elements have muddy blues and purples is because the actual transmission medium itself, the glass, is an actual dielectric or electrostatic capacitor. Not only is it do we have to correct for this issue between the reds, the blues, and the purples, but what cannot be corrected for by even the very best glass in the world, I mean the very best, all the money in the world won't solve the issue, is that glass itself is a dielectric or electrostatic capacitor. I mean, there's a simple Leyden jar experiment, as you can see here, where the electrostatic energy is not actually being contained by uh, the copper jar in the capacitor, but uh, rather by the glass itself. Now I'll actually fast forward this maybe here a second. Here he's taking off uh, the leads. We have a uh, just a Pyrex glass jar encapsulated by a, a, a copper. Now there's the discharge, the electrostatic discharge. So you would think the electrostatic discharge was being held um, by the uh, uh, positive cathode and anode between the glass and the uh, the copper, but that's actually not the case. As uh, my friend and uh, the only person in the world to ever replicate every experiment by Tesla has done Eric P. Dollard uh, shows. It's an article called The Fallacy of Conductors. I'll show you in a second. The electrostatic or dielectric capacitance uh, is actually contained within the glass as you'll see in this experiment where the leads are taken off and you'll see here in a second uh, this is uh, a video is from M uh, MIT uh, itself. Here we have the cathode and the anode being removed by hand, so watch here now, you'll see that there's no charge at all on the copper cathode or anode, but it's contained within the glass. So the capacitance is actually in the glass, not in the copper. And you'll see now that the discharge, see? The capacitance is in the glass. So not only do we have diffraction and uh, diffusion issues, uh, within the glass medium itself, it doesn't matter how perfect the glass is, is a secret you won't hear about anywhere else. Now, we were able to correct for chromatic aberration using achromatic elements and uh, also correct for this to some degree by distortion, but what can never, 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 never be corrected for is uh, the fact that glass is a dielectric or electrostatic capacitor. That is why uh, blue and purple light, not only do we have an electromagnetic, re electromagnetic retardation of blue and purple wavelengths, because uh, as I've proven uh, by the missing secret of light, which believe it or not, nobody really knows until I wrote the article what the true nature of light is. It is not uh, transverse electrical and magnetic only. Now, I've had some idiots miss interpret me on this and say, well, light is not, uh, uh, does not have uh, transverse uh, electrical magnetic components. That's not what I said. I said light is not merely transverse 
electrical and magnetic. It has a z-axis radial dielectric component. Now, the higher the frequency, the light, such as the blues and purples, have a much higher dielectric capacitance. That is why towards the blue and the purple end of the spectrum you start getting up into uh, UV and whatnot. That's where stuff gets damaging uh, because it has extremely high. That is also why uh, some of the blue and purple wavelength lasers coherent uh, blue and purple wavelength lasers are uh, so destructive and they're actually used as cutting devices through two inch thick sheet steel. They're actually used as cutting devices, cutting torches. Um, but that is what happens with the uh, the glass, the dielectric medium. Here's a friend of mine. Um, he's, uh, you can download this article. And you type in The Fallacy of Conductors by Eric Dollard. Uh, he's a genius. He's a close friend of mine. He's the only person in the world. He's written several books. Uh, I highly recommend you buying uh, one of Eric Dollard's books. I'm not trying to say this. Well, you're you're plugging your friend's book, so you know what's you know what's up with that nonsense. But that's not the case. The guy is literally dirt dirt poor, and he's not interested in making a dime. He's not. He's a modern day Tesla. He's a genius. His books are uh, absolutely incredible. If you ever want to know about field theory and the nature of uh, of light and electricity, this guy is uh, really actually one of the smartest people alive on this planet. He lives basically out of his car in a single room with uh, with some equipment. Um, his lab has been burned down and destroyed a few times over the decades. He's a, a living genius. He's the actual living... Uh, living Nikola Tesla, if you will. But uh, check out his free article, and uh, you read uh, about the fallacy of conductors by Eric P. Dollard. But the point here is about glass and lenses, but the point I'm trying to make ultimately is that something you won't read anywhere else is that regardless of diffraction, diffusion, and blue and purple fringing, what is going on in the glass is not only do we have electromagnetic retardation occurring, um, due to the z-axis radial dielectric nature of light, because light is not merely transverse electrical magnetic uh, um, in constituation, but has a z-axis radial dielectric pulse, which is reciprocal to its frequency. The higher the frequency, the higher the dielectric pulse. That's the reason why uh, um, Oliver Heaviside created the coaxial cable, the center conductor light is not merely transverse vibration. It uh, has a, a dielectric electrostatic pulse and glass is a capacitor of that as I just showed you and that is why zoom lenses with their many many elements not only have to have corrective elements to correct for this uh, chromatic aberration but that is also why high element zoom lenses have um, muddy blues and muddy purples is because the glass actually absorbs it as you saw in that glass Leyden jar experiment. The glass absorbs the dielectric component of the blues and the purples and to a, a small degree the greens and that is why zoom elements with those many elements have muddy blues and purples and they don't have a bright and vibrant or greens. That is why the less glass elements there are in a lens You'll notice this. Take out a uh, take out shoot something that's uh, something that has a lot of blue colors to it, with like a four element prime lens, and then shoot something the exact same thing with like a twenty twenty three element whatever a zoom lens or even a fourteen element you know something along those lines. You'll notice that you can correct for that in post to some degree, but you'll notice that the blues are very muddy and they're missing. You know, they're faded out, and the reason for that, even the best glass in the world cannot correct for this, is that the medium transmission itself, the glass elements, actually absorbs that light. It is electric charge. It's a, you've heard about electro, electrostatic charges being uh, stored in the amber, for example, or glass. Of course, glass is an, uh, is an electret. You know, this means it's an electrostatic capacitor. So that's the charge that's actually being uh, contained therein, and that's something... This little video is a bit of information uh, that uh, you know you won't read about anywhere, and uh, I just thought I'd pass that on to you. If you ever wanted to know why your blues and your purples are muddy with uh, zoom lenses, and uh, you're thinking it's inferior glass, it doesn't matter if it's Zeiss glass, it doesn't matter if it's billion dollar glass from NASA. Um, glass 
is an electrostatic capacitor and it cannot be corrected for. You can correct for the diffraction and the diffusion, but you cannot correct for the fact that glass is inherently a capacitant of that electrostatic um, of that electrostatic light in, in that which is extremely high in the blues and purples. Nobody in the world and all the money in the world cannot correct for that. Zeiss, anybody, NASA, nobody. Nobody can correct for that. Uh, of course, those people use mirrors up in space. I mean, they're using mirrors and very few lens elements. They're using huge CCDs for light gathering, but, you know, mainly they're using mirrors. I mean, you're not talking about huge refractors out in space. You're talking about reflectors of the very, very few glass elements. I mean, uh, even Zeiss knows this. If you talk to the best glass engineers in the world, they all know about this. They don't know about this, but they know that uh, glass ultimately ruins and destroys the light. It doesn't matter how great the glass is, how expensive it is, or how well coated it is, that is what's going on. So, we can correct for the chromatic aberration, we can correct for the diffraction and the diffusion issues, but what can never be corrected for is the fact that the medium itself is capacitant. It is actually still staying a portion of that blue and purple light is still staying within each glass element. When you got 9, 12, 13, 14, 15, 20 glass elements in a lens, it can never be corrected for, and all the money in the world won't solve that issue. And uh, this is the only video on Earth where you will learn that secret of zoom lenses and that secret of glass and that secret of light. And this is the reason why, baby, your blues and your purples look muddy and washed out with zoom lenses, even though they be, may be the most expensive zoom lenses on Earth. This is the answer, this is the reason, and you won't hear about it anywhere else but here. If you like this video, you could drop me a buck or two, and uh, thanks for watching.